guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tatum Tamia I'm the host of the blessed and bossed up podcast and the CEO of Anchor Media this is another vlog and one of my goals this year is to do more vlogging so I'm gonna try my best y'all <laughs> when I work I really be like in a day-to-day -day, I'm just really in the zone so it's really hard to remember oh take the camera out kind of narrate what's going on but I'm gonna do my best this is actually the first vlog of 2023 Right now, I'm working out of Anchor Media Studios. I'm in our conference room. See, my computer's there. Yep. So I'm in the conference room, hanging out here today. My church had their holiday party here on Saturday. So I'm working out of here today so that the company who provided like the tables and chairs could kind of pick those up. I think tomorrow I'm going to work out of my office in Virginia. This is the last month of having that office, uh, bittersweet. So um, my lease is up on January 31st. So I'm gonna be slowly bringing stuff out of there and moving into the studio here. But for today, and probably a couple times this week, I might just go back and forth. My desktop is at the office and I really like using the iMac. So, and of course I'm using my laptop here, so. I will probably take my iMac out first so I can keep using that when I'm working here out of the studio. But yeah, it's the first vlog of the year. It's Tuesday, January 3rd. So this is my first day, real day back in the zone. Man, I'm on coffee number two. <laughs> I woke up at 4 a.m. I'm usually up my usual wake up time, like on a regular non-holiday day is usually like five. But in order for me to really just get things, everything done that I need to get done, I had to move up my wake up time. So my morning routine went well this morning. So I wake up at four, I spend time with God, and then I work out at six. So after my time with God, I uh, get dressed, go to the gym, work out from six to seven come back home from the gym. That's when I cook breakfast for my husband and our son. I uh, usually clean up the playroom if my son destroyed it <laughs> the previous night, which he usually does. Clean up the playroom, organize his food for the day so it's easy for our nanny to get to it. So I did that, of course, took a shower, got dressed, ate breakfast myself, all of that, and then uh, headed out to the office. And so that's pretty much been my morning. Right now it's about 9.30 been here for about 15 minutes or so. One of the things I didn't get to do this morning that I want to do during those early morning hours is clear my emails. So that way, I'm, I don't even have any emails to respond to. I'm literally just coming to work and getting straight to work. I didn't get to do that this morning because my son's playroom was a lot more destroyed than I anticipated. So I really had to do some work cleaning it up and I really didn't even finish. I cleaned it up enough for the nanny to finish when she got there. But, um, yeah, so I am in the office now. I'll be here till about five and then I will go home. I'm not cooking dinner tonight because I cooked yesterday or the day before and I still have leftovers for myself. BJ is trying to lose weight so he is on some specialized diet. The good thing is that usually when he's on like a special diet, he don't put it on me to cook based on his diet. He just feeds himself. So he's eating a lot of salads and fruits and vegetables. So most of the stuff he eating don't really need to be cooked. So I don't need to cook tonight because the baby got food, he got leftovers, I got leftovers, and BJ got his little salad kids. So we're good. When I get home, I get to actually chill a bit, <laughs> have some family time before the evening routine. So that's where we're at now. Today, I'm focused on client stuff. Last week, I cleared out my email. So my out of office has been on since December. So some of our team took December off, not everybody. I was working-ish, like if it was something I had to respond to, I responded to it, something I had to do, I did. But I wasn't just like taking on a full workload. Our account coordinator who manages our clients couldn't fully get off because our clients still have podcasts running during that time. And so we just, those of us who had to work, we just had to work. But my out of office has been on since December 1st. And y'all, I have 400 emails in there. I was looking like, I, there's no way I'm clearing out 400 emails the first day back. So last week I cleared out my emails so that this week, I think it's about 20 something in here right now, which is fine. So this week I could really just start fresh. 
I feel like I actually got some rest yesterday. So my plan was to really spend most of December resting, but I'm a mom, didn't work out that way. We did go to Mexico for a week, so I had my vacation. The day we got back from the vacation, my son was sick. That led to an ER visit, all types of nebulizer treatments and albuterol treatments and all of these different things, steroids, all of that. Like he had, he was having trouble breathing and they, they tested him for the flu, COVID, RSV, he had none of that. But he had a cold that was just causing some type of asthmatic type of reaction. And so he doesn't have asthma, but it was causing some dish upper respiratory issues. So that led to just a lot, you know, breathing treatments around the clock, all of that. So your girl didn't get a break. <laughs> I did not get to chill with my feet up during the day like I thought I would. And so Sunday, which was New Year's Day, you know, we ate our Negro classics for New Year's meals, which are black eyed peas, collard greens. I've been eating black eyed peas and greens on New Year's Day since I've been a baby. So it's just tradition. And so uh, my grandmother was over, so she and I made the greens and the black eyed peas, so that was nice. And then my parents came over, and you know, when the grandparents come over, it's time to finesse, right? So it was time for me to finesse them taking that child for a night. So <laughs> they did take him for a night. So they took him Sunday night, kept him most of Monday. She didn't bring him back until Monday evening around dinner time, which was perfect. So yesterday I got to just re relax and chill. My grandmother was over, she made me breakfast and I was able to chill. <sighs> so now I feel like I'm ready to tackle life and the many things that I have going on this year. All great things, but with blessings, there's still a level of responsibility. So this is gonna be a very um, busy year. And I'm cool with it. I, I I think I'll be bored if I wasn't busy, but that's more of a recap of what I've been up to. Welcome to another vlog. Let's get to work. All right, guys, it is currently mm, 1223. So I'm about to take a break uh, from working. I've gone through, cleared my email inbox. I've gone through all of our clients to just refresh my memory on where we are. Um, so I'm done all of that. Uh, we have a client whose podcast is launching a new season tomorrow. So of course that's good to go. We have a few podcasts that are coming out this month. So went through all of that know where everybody's at, check in with my team, know what we're doing with everything, so I'm good. I have a couple tasks though to do after I come back from taking a break. One of the things I learned in therapy last year is to take a freaking break, a real one, where I step away from my computer, I actually eat and enjoy my food and not eat while I'm on the computer. So I'm getting ready to go and pick up uh, my food. I already broke one of my New Year's things. I said I was not going to order DoorDash this year. Now, I didn't plan on it, but the studio, we don't have a microwave in here. I just realized that. So I have to buy a microwave to put in here. Um, so that means I need to order DoorDash. But what I'll do to save money is I'll just pick it up versus getting it delivered. So I'm still a little bit close on what I'm trying to do this year. One of the things this morning, I, in my time with God, I always ask him, God, what do I need to do today that I'm not planning on doing? Just surrendering my schedule, surrendering my, surrendering my plan so that he could reroute me as, as he sees fit. So one of the things he told me to do today was to go out and just do a quick walk by the lake. So um, AMS Anchor Media Studios sits on a lake. So I'm getting ready to go do that. Then I'm going to go pick up my food. I'm going to come back and eat my food. And then I'm going to knock out these last few tasks before heading home for the day. We do have someone come in to do a little work on the studio. So I'll show you guys that as well. We're getting a door put in on our little phone booth room. So you guys will get to see that. And yeah, that's it. Let me get out of here. I just switched from my camera to my phone because my camera died. But I said I was going to do this vlog, so committed. But I'm on my way to the lake. I didn't go when I um, 
said I would for lunch because it was raining. So before going home, I'm gonna come and over to this lake like God told me to. All right guys, so just finished eating and watching Netflix. <laughs> it's this um, show I like on air called Cook at All Costs or something like that, but it's a cute um, cooking show. So I watched that, watched an episode for about 30 minutes. So it's time to get back to work. I got about two tasks that I need to do before I can clock out. One of them takes a while, but hopefully I can get through it quickly and then I can knock out the last thing and I can head home. Hopefully I can head home early and chill for a little bit before um, clocking into mommy boat. I made my um, camera die. Just say hey. Hi, I'm here in Anchor Media Studios. Okay. <laughs> Let me see what you're doing. Always working, trying to get the telephone room together. So people can come in and enjoy the space and have private telephone conversations. It's cute. Yeah, come around. Hey guys, today's Thursday. I just got back in the house from the gym. Whew, I did not wake up on time. I Yesterday I didn't do any vlog footage. Yesterday was pretty rough. I didn't sleep too well the night before. I had to take my truck to get an oil change super early in the morning because I just didn't want to be in there in the middle of the day. So I wanted to get it out the way. So I was just really tired yesterday. So I decided to work from home instead of going to the studio or my office. And my son, I think he's going through like some type of separation anxiety right now. So like anytime he saw me, he was right on my lap. And anytime I tried to hand him back off to our nanny, he was not having it. So uh, he was just, also he's, you know, in the two stage. I'm not gonna say the terrible twos, but he's definitely a bit rambunctious. He's just loud, like, <laughs> he's so loud. <laughs> he's always singing, uh, very loud, hype, so much energy. Like, he's, he is a toddler for real. And working with home under those conditions, working from home under those conditions was not productive for me. Uh, the most important thing that needed to get done was our client, launched we launched their podcast yesterday so that definitely got done i'm very excited about them and what's to come with their show this is our corporate client uh, who i've really enjoyed working with so far so i'm excited about what's to come for their brand with the podcast and all of the other things that we're doing so that launched yesterday but today it's going to be a very busy day i have to go to the studio i have a meeting with my marketing manager we, uh, she had December off, so I gave her the month off for December pay just as a thank you for being so productive and awesome all year. So we didn't get to have like our company meeting in December, which we usually like to do at the end of the year. And so uh, I met with my husband yesterday. So I actually did do a little bit, but to my standards, I didn't do a lot. I met with my husband yesterday as well to go over the financials for 2022. And, and then he let me know like what we need to focus on this year, just some trends that he's seen, some suggestions and all of that. So my husband's the CFO, if I didn't tell you guys that. And so that was perfect for me to know ahead of my marketing meeting. So she and I are going to meet. And one of my biggest goals for this year business-wise is to get myself out of like the day-to-day -day operations because I'm like the main strategist with our clients. I do a lot of work in the business and a lot of our clients, of course, they want to talk to me, but I'm, I'm trying to get to the point where I'm not involved in any of the working in the business. Like my job is essentially to just create the strategy, everybody else execute it. But my job on a day-to-day -day needs to be generating new opportunities for the company. And it's been tough to do that over the years because you know we've had to grow team wise and have the infrastructure to handle the load for me to be able to to stay, take a step back i think we have the infrastructure to be able to do that now now it's really a um, putting things in place to where i don't feel like i have to be as involved so i have a couple like internal things that i'm going to be changing a couple of like reports that i'm going to have uh, my team start sending to me on a certain schedule so that way uh, when i my goal is like in the morning, whatever day their report is due, I review the report, sign off on it, and go back out to get more business. <laughs> like, that's it. 
as opposed to sitting down and finding stuff on my own or looking for this or looking for that or doing this or doing that just really getting me away from the day to day so that I can go generate new opportunities and so that's a huge focus this year as well as just continuing to make more money increase our profit margins all the usual business stuff but we're also changing a few things as far as our offering go offerings go we're consolidating some so it's it's not a lot going on but there's some very strategic adjustments that we're, we're making this year so talking to my marketing manager today to fill her in on what's going on i think we have a team meeting this morning as well uh, we do a, a team huddle which is really quick uh, every week to just you know get everybody on the same page so we have that today after my meeting with my marketing manager we're recording content so I had to take my executive hat off and turn into the talent and record videos for my YouTube channel, Anchor Media's channel, and maybe like some reels or some things for Instagram. So we're having a content day. We're going to do it at the studio. I still have my office in Virginia. My uh, lease isn't up until January 31st. So right now it's like January 5th. So most of my stuff is out though. It's just furniture in there. And then my uh, iMac, my desktop, I need to go get that. But the plan this month is also to move to clear out my office at the studio because in the studio right now it's like a storage room so it's boxes and some more stuff in there so we need to clear that out and then bring my stuff over from the other office and then i gotta make it cute i'm actually going to set the office up to where it's both my husband and i's office and not just mine so i'm excited about that so yeah today's going to be a busy day i did not wake up on time one of the things about that i've learned about myself when it comes to business is i need I need structure and routines, but I also need the flexibility to not be super rigid with it. Because if, I, if I'm if i too rigid, I feel boxed in. So I need to, again, have that structure, but I need a little bit of wiggle room. So a good example of that is Monday or Tuesday when I first started the vlog, I was very exact to my schedule for the day. And so that was, I mean, I think I dozed off at like 7 p.m. <laughs> That evening when my son, when my husband went to go do the nighttime routine, mama was also out. Um, and so then today, uh, I did not wake up on time. And so what I missed from not waking up on time was my time with God. I still got to the gym, so I did that. So what I'm about to do right now, it's about 7.15. And I don't need to start getting dressed to maybe like 8, 8.15. So I'm going to do my time with God now after I'm finished recording this. I, I got my coffee making right now, so that should be, my coffee is brewing right now, so that should be done in a second. But I'm gonna do that time with God now before getting dressed for the day. I did it, so then what I would have been doing now is clearing out my emails and getting a jump start on work. So I'm not doing that because I have to spend my time with God. I'm not even about to play with myself to think that I'm going to skip that. And I'm definitely not about to play myself and skip that for work. No, when we say God is the CEO, I mean it. So I'm going to do that now. My meeting is at 10, so I'm hoping I can get to the studio. I'm gonna to try to get to the studio around like 9.30 or so. Within that 30 minutes before my meeting starts, I can knock out clearing out my emails. Anything else, it can simply wait. But I'll still get done everything I need to get done today. I didn't allocate tasks today besides my meeting and recording content because I know for a fact by the end of that, I'm going to be tired and I'm not about to sit here and create a whole to-do list for myself. In addition to that, that's not setting myself up for success. So because I don't have any tasks, that means I, I can knock out the couple things that I would have been doing right now had I woken up on time. So you see how everything is still getting done? Just made a few adjustments. Now that doesn't mean I'm never gonna wake up on time or I'm giving myself excuses. It just means I create a schedule that can accommodate if I'm tired and I need another hour, right? So yeah, that's where I am now. Coffee's done, about to do that. I have my uh, prayer journal with me, which is this simple, basic $5 notebook from TJ Maxx. Nothing fancy. Um, I just need blank pages so that I can write out my thoughts and my downloads. And of course, I got my Bible. So about to do that. My husband and uh, our son is still asleep. He has breakfast already done, so I don't have to worry about that. I think I'm gonna eat a smoothie so I don't have to, or drink a smoothie so that I don't have to do anything crazy for breakfast for myself. Because they're still asleep, I'm probably after I finish my uh, time with God, I'll probably just put all the stuff in the blender, get dressed and then blend it before I go out because I don't want to wake anybody up. But yeah, that's where I am now and I'll take you along for 
the rest of the day. Let's get this day started. Made it to the studio, kind of on time, and uh, just wrapped up a meeting with Kyla. Yay. So we planned out our events for the year, the things we have going on, and now we have to create content. So that's it. Content day is finished. We bust them joints out. We did a few reels. We did a bunch of uh, videos for both my YouTube channel and Anchor Media's channel. Um, I actually feel pretty good. Like I told you guys this morning, usually I don't plan stuff after content days and especially when we have a meeting before because it's, my voice is kind <clears> of <throat> shaky right now because I've been talking so much, but I usually am drained. I'm not drained at all actually. And I'm trying to identify like why that is. Now that I think about it, I worked out this morning. I drank a smoothie for breakfast. So I put a bunch of good stuff in the smoothie. So that's probably why I still have a lot of energy, which is great because like I said yesterday, I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be because I was home and my son was in full toddler mode. So I'm getting ready to clear my emails out, knock off a couple of the tasks that I didn't get to do yesterday. And then I'll go home after that. But I'm excited that I feel as good as I do right now. I'm shocked actually, because I'm like, whoa, energy. What is this? Like, I thought that <laughs> I'll be ready to go home and take a nap, but actually I feel pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it, keep it going and knock some stuff off. So yeah, let's get back to work. Today's Friday. Woo, 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 woo. I'm in my office in Virginia today. So this is the Anchor Media office where it's been for the last two years. So in 2019, I got an office space in the same building. And then it was a lot smaller, but I didn't care. It was perfect for me. It was like two desks in there. So if like my assistant wanted to come into the office or anything, then they were able to, and it was perfect for me. But then when COVID hit, a lot of the offices became vacant and I wanted a bigger space. So I was able to move into this one at a discounted rate. And I love the big window. That was my favorite part. So I moved in here in the end of 2020. So now you guys know we purchased Anchor Media Studios. So this is my last month here. So I came here today. I need to send my dad some pictures. He's going to help me move out of this one into the other one. But uh, look, y'all. This has been home for the last couple years. My aunt came in and took some of my furniture out for Anchor Media Studio. So you see these wine, wine bottles on my desk that used to be on a table. I don't like white wine. So if you ever see me with a white wine bottle, trust me, it's decorative. <laughs> I don't like white wine. I'm a red wine girl. So I had like the wine bottle for uh, decoration. So I gotta move that. And then I had this other, I think that's a red. But I didn't like that one, so that's why that's also here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm clocking in for the day. Out of breath, because I was writing up some steps to get in here. I had a meeting this morning at 10 right now. It's maybe like 10.45. So I got my meeting done. I took it in the car. It was just a phone call. Got that done. I have another meeting at 1. I'm recording a podcast today. I'm so excited about my revelation. Once I get settled, I'm going to tell you guys about it. Excited about my revelation. I'm sharing the show. So after my meeting and recording the podcast, I'm going to plan out my tasks for next week. And then I'm out. I want to get a pedicure. So hopefully I have enough time to stop by a spot that I like out here on the way home. But that's on the agenda today. Let's get to work. So I forgot to put my mouse on a charger. So my mouse is super dead for my iMac. So it don't take long to charge up. So I'm gonna tell you guys about my revelation while it's charging up. Okay, so boom. I talked about last week on a podcast. I don't know when this vlog is coming out. So just, I'll make sure we link the episodes that I'm referring to in the description. So I talked about just my time with God, a revelation that I got, and just also my frustration about feeling like my relationship with God had become so much about receiving to give to other people or receiving instructions to build in my business. And I just wanted that closeness of father-daughter connection that was established when I first got saved. So, and I was also just venting to God about how frustrated I was with myself last year because of a lot of things that stressed me out that didn't need to. Like it was so many things that happened 
last year that by the time the year was over, he had already worked out. And I'm like, how much more peace of mind would I have if I just relax, right? And not let my anxiety get the best of me. And so God's response to me in that moment was that the anecdote to my anxiety is to create an atmosphere of him. And that sounds great. I mean, it's alliteration, all these A's, you know what I mean? It's, it's a great title, right? But um, I was like, okay, but what does that mean? And it's been something I've been thinking about this week since then. What does that mean? Um, and it's actually something I'm going to communicate on this week's episode of the podcast that I'll record today. Now, as I was preparing for the podcast, now, whenever I prepare my notes for the podcast, it starts out with God tells me what the episode is about. This doesn't all happen in the same day, but God tells me what the episode is about. I go into prayer. Okay. What's the message? Where do you want me to go with this? What scriptures, you know, whatever. God starts giving me the points. He may give me the revelation um, and just take me where I need to go to be able to craft the episode. And so that's where we were at this morning. God, what does it mean to cultivate an atmosphere? You know, that essentially is the anecdote to my anxiety. And so this is something for me, but also something that I'm being released to talk about on the podcast. So first he says, start, he says, look or study omnipresent. So as I'm studying, doing my usual, you know, I look up the concordance, the definition, go into scripture, use all of my resources that I use to study and get a deeper understanding of a biblical matter. So the revelation that I got is that we understand and know that God is omnipresent right? That means he's everywhere at the same time. That is a logical and theological understanding of a fact of who God is. What we often look for is the manifestation of God's presence. And those are not the same thing. So the manifestation of God's presence is essentially the undeniable proof that he's there, right? Versus being the fact of him being omnipresent is just something you know is that he's always around but you don't always feel or see his presence his presence isn't always manifested so example god was always with moses right but his presence was manifested in the burning bush god was always with him when he was leading the people of israel but his presence was manifested when he went up to get the instructions right so there's a difference between the two when God's presence is manifested, is 100% contingent upon when God wants his presence to be manifested. It's not something that we do. It's not something that we usher in. It's not something that we cultivate. It is up to God when he wants his presence to be known and experienced in that moment. And so what happens is because we don't understand that there's a difference between the two, we think that God isn't around if we don't feel him, right? Or we don't see the manifestation of his presence. So you think God's not there because you're sick and you want to be healed and you haven't been healed yet, or you're waiting for whatever manifestation of his presence is to happen. You feel like he's not there, but that's not true. He is there because he's omnipresent. You just have not experienced the manifestation of his presence at that time. And it's making you again think he's not there but that's not true but it's not and again i have to emphasize god decides when his presence is manifested so then what do we do in these moments right when i'm waiting for the miracle when i'm feeling like i'm by myself where i feel like god's not here what do i do then in those anxious moments and so it just I, i'm still working through <laughs> i have to finish uh once i'm done I'm going to clear my inbox and then finish out my notes for the podcast so God could download the solution and I'll communicate it on the show. But this is kind of just the first part of it, of uh, the revelation that I got. But it just made me think, you know, that's why the definition of joy, the biblical definition of joy is awareness of God's grace. Grace means God's unmerited favor. So in the order, in order for us to be joyful, we have to be aware of his unmerited favor. Faith is confidence in things hoped for assurance about things unseen. None of these things are contingent on God's presence being manifested at any given time, right? So you don't have faith because you've seen God move or you've seen him be present in a certain area. You have faith because you know that he's omnipresent. You know he's, things are going to work in your favor. You know what the word says. That's what faith is. You know what the word says and you move according to that in spite of not seeing him manifest yet. 
You are joyful because you understand that God favors you and you don't deserve it. Despite if you seen his, his, his presence manifested in whatever it is that you're believing him for, right? So it's, God doesn't have to do anything for us to be joyful. He doesn't have to show up now or in the area that we're waiting on for us to be joyful, for us to have faith. And, and it's just, I don't know, I think we just get so caught up in trying to make him the servant to us versus the other way around where we're not understanding these things. And I was just like, dang, that's what's up. I didn't, you know, just the separation of the two was really uh, a big revelation for me, but then it just leaves us with the task of, so then how do I cultivate this environment though? But the thing is like, and I, and so let me backtrack for a second. When you feel that, and I, the enemy works very well in this space where God's presence isn't being manifested, even though he's there, right? The enemy works well in this space because then he can make you feel like God doesn't care about you. God has forgotten about you, but, or God isn't speaking to you. Cause even in the midst of God's presence, not being manifested or proven in that, at that time, we still have access to him through the Holy spirit. We still have access to what he has to say because we have access to the word. The word is a lie and God and his word are one. So he's always talking because we always have access to the text, right? But we don't use that because we so we want to see the miracle signs and wonders in what we're trying to contain it as versus seeing the miracle signs and wonders that have already happened the fact that jesus already died on the cross for our sins the fact that we're alive today the fact that we're of sound mind and able body the fact that no matter what may be going on around you god is still present in that and so it's an intentional thing that we have to to focus on in an, in an environment that we have to cultivate so that God's reality becomes our reality, even if God isn't doing anything super miraculous at that time. So that was good to me. And I'm gonna break this down better on the podcast, but that's just off the top of my head that I wanted to share with you guys here. So my, lot, my mouth should be charged enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and work through that. Um, and then we'll link the show in the description of what episode this turned out to be. All right, so I am finished with all of my meetings for today. I have a couple things I need to wrap up. I need to put all of my thoughts from my meeting into my project management software because the way my brain is set up, I'm not gonna remember everything uh, but i want to make sure just even the thoughts that i'm having about the meeting and stuff i want to you know ideas and stuff that i got i want to put that there of course i recorded the podcast so i need to before i go uh do my schedule for next week i'm gonna upload the podcast and schedule that to go out i just ordered some food so i'm about to go pick it up it's kind of sad leaving virginia because where my office is i got a lot of little spots i like so I'm going to one of my faves to go pick up some food. I'm trying to save money on DoorDash delivery. So I'm gonna go pick it up, come back, wrap up for the day, and then get out of here by no later than five o'clock. It's 2.24 right now. So I think I can make that happen. I may not be able to take a full lunch break break, but we'll see, we'll see. The walk I think will help give me a little bit of a break and then I'll just eat and work, unfortunately. Don't tell my therapist. So I'm done my meeting for the day, podcast recorded. I'm getting ready to, I, I edit as I go. So when a podcast is over, I don't really have a bunch of editing. And then the hosting site I use is it manually pushes the ads to the content so I don't have to edit in a bunch of ads or anything. So I just finished my meeting. I'm about to input my notes into the computer, clear my inbox, plan out my schedule for next week. And that's it. I'm gonna go eat or go pick up food, come back, eat it do all of those things and then I'll be headed home for the weekend. I have a toddler birthday party tomorrow. My godson is turning two. So I have that birthday party tomorrow, a church meeting tomorrow. So yeah, still a couple things going on this weekend, all good things. So I'm going to probably close the vlog today and then upload all this content so you guys could get it. Well guys, that's it. That is it for this vlog. I'm back, about to eat my food, and I'm out of here. <laughs> 
make sure you like subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss when i post another video and i'll see you in the next one